Okay, everything's set. Here we go again. We'll just put you back up here and mount. We're gonna mount you. Yeah, oh, we'll do the other way. Okay, how's that? Okay, not bad. My good. Okay, clean it. Coffee, Skittles. Okay. Oh. All right. Seatbelt. I walked my son's dog up to the mailbox and back. That's done. And we're off to the city and Walmart and uh, Dollarama. Hospitality. Here we are. Okay, what is the theme today? Huh. The weather, minus four out right now. See, it was freaking cold here a few days. Minus 30, I think, was as close as it came to that and minus 45 wind chill or something they say. It was cold. You could feel it. When the wind was blowing, you could feel it in the house. My poor old house there. All frozen, not cracking away. I wonder what a brick house would be like. Or a big stone house. I suppose they got their problems as well. So we haven't, this winter, we haven't even burnt a cord of wood yet. My son has. In the garage, heating it up to keep the, his dog from freezing solid. And he's got to replace that. So he's going to be one busy boy. Not only that, I knew he'd leave a pile of crap behind. He gets cutting with the chainsaw. He starts lugging it out of the woods. Or wherever he is. And he just likes to leave it. Well, I can't put up with that. My wife don't like that either. So, he's got his work cut out for him. This is his first full week of work back. And he only works six months out of the year and he's got six months off. Wow. Well, neighbor there. I'm going to make sure visit him. He's getting his other knee operated on. Or another knee. Getting a new one. My brother-in-law is going to get up to get a new knee whenever. Maybe do a one.
There we are. Heated seat, heated wheel. That's a given. Around here. Oop, minus seven up here. So let's do some simple math. I probably only uh, three hundred dollars divided by uh, twelve months. Oh, good. So you make it three sixty. Divide by twelve is extra is thirty bucks a month. I my heating bill, if I only burn a, a cord, a cord and a half, say. Now, previous winners, man, I could, I just couldn't wait to keep that freaking fire going full blast. And the other winner had no choice. The, uh, Motherboard on the geothermal there, my furnace went out for a month, and we burned a lot of wood that that month because that's the only heat we had in the house. And there's no way that I was going to let them come in here with these big fancy unit heaters they got, have them roaring away. And I have my power bill go up to 600 bucks a month. I'm trying to get there and make it almost close to free as I can. And time is of the essence because I'm 70 this year and I don't know how much longer I'll be able to go into the woods and cut the other tree down. Especially when it takes everything I got to get to the mailbox and back. where I took the, my son's dog, Pongo, now when we, when I take him out for his tear, ours got to be inside, they just clash immediately. apart when they lock on each other. Okay, I got an hour to get the physio done from here. Then I got to do uh, the barbecue chip run. Costco and load up, get some ginger ale. And all the other stuff you're supposed to get there. And then Take a close look. No oh, Walmart, I gotta get a ton of baby food. Since I got him started on baby food, that little guy, man, he can pack it away. He's got a couple, two hollow legs, I think. Join my patience, little guy. His brother, older brother and sister, they're off to the other grandmas for three days in the middle of the week. That's helpful. Trying to entertain these kids day in and day out. We can't.
can't get to the cleaning of the house anymore. And just looking after the baby for me is good. Now the other two kids, they get somewhat broken English, but it's actually quite clear, but I can't understand it. Which makes it really hard for me. And when my son's away working, we got the, the crying and the whining down to a bare minimum, what it should be like. As soon as he walks in the door from work, it starts up again. Go figure. starts again tonight. I can't remember who they're playing though. It might be a lot of one. <laughs> Don't remember. There's too many teams in the league. And uh, I'm going to start chasing these doctors down here to get me. See if they can get me on the right stuff to get my breathing back. Get rid of some of the pain in other areas. I've been doing this freaking clown for... 20 years or so, I guess. Maybe more. Maybe 30. Close to it anyway. And he uh, doesn't seem to qu quite uh, get me going like, forever. To get me into the right place. Sends me to all these other places first. Gotta rule out the causes, he says. And uh, here's something. I gotta lose some weight. He offers to staple my stomach. I don't want that. Just give me a nutritionist. I says it worked for me when I was in uh, worked overseas. Oh, I was 40, 50 pounds, like nothing, within a couple of months. Well, we don't cover nutritionists here. You got to pay for that out of your own pocket. And that ain't cheap. 
So I guess that ain't happening. Oh well. And since I've retired, seven years ago, I had more medical going on than the previous 40 years. probably due to like, sitting around a lot longer than you normally do. Yeah, I've got this coffee from this morning now. Oh, break the lid off. There it goes. Had to break the suction on the thermos. Now this thing here is going to be everywhere. I know that. It's not bad. reading in the paper, old uh, Putin there, he's uh, firing up for another great offensive. Idiot, why don't he just cut his losses and go home? Give him back whatever they got. He's got to give, give back. to give his head a good shaking. Too much water in his oatmeal. There we go. Ah, coffee flavored beard. Ooh. Okay. This is one of those, like, uh, food thermoses. It's uh, like a wide mouth at the top. And it holds a good cup of coffee. And I made it, those, say, 7 o'clock this morning. So that's six hours later. And it's still warm. A little better than a worm. But I've got to eat. My my sleep has been all frigged up. Some nights I get to sleep two hours and I get up because uh, there's no way I can go back to sleep. Last night, I went to bed at uh, 11 o'clock or 11.30. I was up at 12.30, and it was hard to figure it out what the hell that clock is at that time of night, right? You know, it's uh, zero, zero, 45 or something like that, and it's going like, what the hell's going on here? Couldn't put it together. And it's probably all these pills that I gotta take for all these different things. It's freaking out my sleep. And the responsibility of having to get up to make sure that those kids are tended to. Especially the one I'm in charge of. Little Max. I 
I've had to uh, see what can happen is pooping along there because, man, oh man, the poor kid, he goes beat red. And you can see him grunting away there. And out passes these hard little black, dark pebbles. Not black like blood, but he's just having a hard time pooping. So, they tried to give him uh, some prune juice. I checked it out on the, the old Google there. He says, it's okay, give it to him at 100%. So, we tried putting it in the bottle and he just keeps batting it away. But he sure loves getting fed with the syringe. Because <laughs> we give him medicine that way when he's uh, teething. You know, we give him something to help calm him down a little bit. It must be awful painful when you got these freaking teeth coming through your gums. Oh, looks like the sun's truck. But it's not blue. So anyway, I'm not exactly sure how much to give him, but he gets a couple of ounces. It takes forever to freaking suck it up, squirt it in there. But he likes it. That way he likes it. And I give him a little tiny piece of potato today. A couple times. Uh, boiled potatoes. And it's cute because he'll go, mmm. Like this, geez, this is freaking good. Yes, sir. I haven't given him anything hard like uh, like a taco chip or anything like that. I wouldn't do that. He's going to need more than four teeth. It's like a little beaver. And if you get your fingers or anything too close to those teeth, he's going to sink, do his best to sink him into you. It's cute. I learned that lesson real quick. So I used to uh, stick my finger in his mouth there. Sometimes I'd use my thumb to wipe his mouth off and then he could get it off my thumb. And uh, I could, I had to chew on it there for a while. And uh, the next thing you know, this tooth popped through there. And man, I'm telling you, they're like freaking, <laughs> they're like, uh, what do you call them, side cutters, or they're uh, like tin snips, actually. I imagine he's going to sink down into his sister and his brother when given the chance. Let's see here. I got lots of time. River's all froze over now. Over here inside. But that. There's a whole bunch of dams on that river. And, uh. It claims quite a few lives over the. The winter. Guys driving out there, snowmobiles, people wanting to skate.
Yeah, it was not this river, but the Cannabis Cases River. That's a mouthful. Oh, yeah, I almost did. Seeing how close we could get to the open water. And the ice started cracking, and I just peeled out of there like you wouldn't believe. I could have gone into the Olympics with this speed skate. I don't know what the daredevil in me. The things that I got messed up in. When I was uh, 10, I guess, me and my brother went down to the Bay of Fundy, where my grandfather had the plant up in a place called Redhead. And I didn't really want to uh, walk back up the path to get up to, the, up to where my dad was. I decided to climb that sheer cliff. I got it up about halfway, say 30 feet in the air, and then all of a sudden it happened. I was pulling on it, or holding on to uh, like little shells, like slate. And it just come out, it just let loose up off of the, where it was stuck into. And I did a back flip coming off the cliff and landed on uh, with my back crossways on this great big friggin' log that was uh, laying up against the beach. Probably a, I don't know, close to 48 inch. Oh, what we got here? Somebody's got to turn into the vents. We don't go there no more. We're going to the country guy now. Storm brought that to our attention. We brought he got a stick jab crossways in his upper jaw for the roof of his mouth, actually. And he was in somewhat distress and his water was coming out of his mouth and he was making these funny sounds and he's trying to dislodge it, but he couldn't. So we take him to the vet. They want me to put a muzzle on him. He says, well, there's something wrong with his mouth. And she insisted, well, there was no way that Storm would let me put this freaking muzzle on his mouth. And in lieu of getting all chewed up, we just gave it up. And she says, uh, if you want to come back, I'll only charge you for half, she said. But if you want to come back, uh, you get a muzzle on his face there, whatever. Then we can complete the exam and see what's going on. And she didn't want to drug him, like uh, to put him down so that she could see what was going on. You know, there's a lot of risks there, she says. And I'm going like, what the hell's wrong with you? Just grab a hold of that dog's nose and his bottom jaw and have a look in there, quickly. And step out of the way, I'll put the dog away and you can tell me all about it. No, she wouldn't. So, the worst part of it is, is I go home, tell my wife, hey, they didn't really do anything. They gave me these, uh, this stuff here you can, you can give them to calm them down. And it wasn't too much longer after that. The stick finally managed, he managed to get that out. 
and it was like a, you know, like a piece of alder or a piece of willow, a hardwood of some sort, and it was uh, like chewed on both ends, so it would wedge in there between two big teeth or whatever, and it was bowed a bit, and that's why he had a hard time getting it out. So anyway, long story short, we moved to a different veterinary guy. Oh well. These places, man, I'm telling you, that's a you can that's like a a license to print money. Okay, got a good half hour to get there, and we've arrived in the wonderful city of Fredericton. <laughs> it's a pretty fancy sign there. It's like modern art. get the park at the hospital up close. They also have some disabled parking in the lower uh, parking lot off the front of the hospital. If you had problems like I have with my legs, and that uh, it's uphill. It's gonna freaking kill you to get up the hill. Then your bones are starting to ache. Yeah. Seventy, you dare say. Holy smokes. No way in hell I thought I'd ever get this old. Not climbing off the cliffs and stuff like that. <laughs> there has been somebody looking after me, though. I'm certain of it. Nice city, though. I'm glad it's not any bigger than it is. but <clears throat> physio
have to uh, do the physio now for sure so I don't have to stay home and babysit kids. That wears on you. When they go to bed at 6, and by about 6.30 all the screaming dies down. What a feeling. The silence of the lambs. Nice and quiet. The only other thing that we're working on is my son, he might go up and take a spin down to this guy down the road and the dogs will bark. Or if he's trying to light the fire in the uh, garage and now he's beating away on uh, pieces of wood or something like that to make him smaller to get in the fireplace. And it uh, rattles the dogs. And especially Bear. He starts barking. And won't shut up. streets here. Well, good thing I didn't do a zipping on there. The police. Come on, you bonehead. That building's still empty. They they finished that about two years ago. Huh. Okay. Now up the hill to the hospital. Another cop. Must be donut time. What do we got here? No, 
license plate. Super Dave's Auto Sales. Drink that coffee out. You know that could be no good by the time I get back. Some pretty good sized hills here. Yeah. Oh, I jumped there. That's good, we're, here. we're almost here. Nope, oh, I'm be smoking. Vaping. That's a vet's hospital. Come on, get up there. We can all go, maybe. There we go. Okay. One more stop. And then I can go home. We're gonna get uh, a herd of baby food. All right. I got mom's barbecue chips at the Dollarama. I got six bags of chips and one jalapeno chips. And uh, the whole thing came to $16. That's cheap. It's 3.30. Go over to Walmart. Across the river, because this one here is way too busy.
this ain't cheap either. It's 335 bucks. There we go. And it's just straight over. I might not go to Tim's today. I haven't been sleeping all that good. And I'll drink what's left of this coffee that I brought from home. And maybe get a some kind of fancy pop or soda as you uh, Americans like to uh, call it Ooh, we got for light here looks green must be okay and we just got out of the hospital Straight to Costco in the Dollarama, and now the Walmart's on the other side of the river from here. Whoa, just hold down there, boy. And if I time it right, I can get my son to go and carry all this stuff in. Shepherd and chips, I'll do that. All right. What's this? Unlimited data. Yeah. Met a young lady in there, uh, Dollarama. You know uh, her parents, and we've been over to their homes a few times. Naomi. All right, what are we waiting here for, boys? Come on. You have to slow down here. I gotta pay attention because I got a bit of a heavy foot. I just want to get home. No oh, taste. It's gonna get heavier traffic than this. And by about 5:30, it's done. I think. Not much more than that, anyway. This is a sizable drop in altitude here. That's good. Good. Nice one every time somebody else gets out of the way. Hey, what do we got here? Wintercrafted. Looks like uh, mountain bike things.
nice smart way down at the bottom there. If he's what I do is I go down there real quick and then I can cut in front of the the herd here. Oh come on. Light's gonna change. Universities students do a lot but this is one of their crossings here. Jeez, I gotta watch my foot on this gas and brake here. <laughs> oh good. Get out of the way. SPS. Whatever. Geez, my whole shoulder got pounded on today. It's just a throbbing now. Chicken, we're having, what do you call that, chicken, chicken bake, we're having that tonight. Okay, come on. Now we're getting there slowly but surely. Whoever the hell she is. <coughs> they got the siding up on that new building on the left. Attention here, Bobby. Perfect. Next lights across the river. really melted. It's minus four here. The spring's in 44 days or something like that. The beginning of mud season. if they do it anymore, but they used to put it all on the river.
I don't think they truck away as much snow as they used to. Here's a mess. Should have gone in the uh, co-op there while I went going by there. Get another syringe or two, the bigger ones. Like uh, so, when we want to feed the baby uh, juice, we can just do it one great big friggin' squirter, like a couple of ounces. Now that we're a bag society, why don't they make the carts to, hair, to, to hang bags on them? So instead of having it smooth at the top. It's two nations crossing up there. There's another Donorama. They're everywhere. Use the light to get in here. I got her, so we can get in too. All right. A wee bit of luck. Canadian Tire, they got lots of stuff in there. Besides tires. for a baby. Well, I suppose this is as close as I'm going to get. Reserved. Alright. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll just turn you off and fire you up for the ride home. Hang on. Okay, here we go. I'm done. We got about 20 different kinds of baby food. They were on sale for a buck off. For a, for a buck each. Okay. That's enough of that. <coughs> Let's get going. Someone's waiting for me. How nice. Oh, they're back in the lab. Okay. 
Wow. Let's go this way. And we bought the little ones. Hey, uh, we bought them some. Uh, Little LED flashlights so that he would quit taking our bigger ones. But you know, the batteries is going to cost us a fortune. Let's go all the way down here. I could have gotten the Canadian tire. I figure Walmart was cheap enough. Now this next door here on the right is called Kent. Kent is a like a supply home builder supply company. They have all kinds of stuff. They're like a Lowe's or a Home Depot. The only difference is, is they're owned by the uh, Irving family. Of which I'm not all that fond to do my shopping there. I don't have to. A couple more cars that way. Sound that we got a bunch of pop six twelve liters of juice. And a pile, a huge pile of baby food. There we go. Drive at four thirty. A lot of people getting off work now. Yeah. We were so lucky that the uh, that minus 20, 30 stuff stopped. This minus four, you know, in the melting roads and stuff like that, I can handle that. Well, I can't be bothered to go get another pop. We're at coffee today. 4.30. I'll drink what's left of this cold one here. And we got a bazillion Skittles to eat. And then I gotta go and hide the container. On the floor. And I gotta keep the doors locked. Keep the young fella out of it. He just free for all. Oh, 
Okay, there we go. We're on our way home. Ooh, that's bright. Razor down. We turn out of the sun. Be all right. a little better. Oh, somebody's getting cable TV, maybe. Yeah, there's no rush now to get home. Of course, you have to watch out for idiots. I think we're still supposed to be going 70 a lot here. That's right. After this intersection, you can go 80. I 
what's happened. She's going 80 in the 70 and now 70 in the 80. Yeah. I'm having a little hard time out here keeping it on the road there, honey. Should crack the window, maybe get a little more air. And it's smooth sailing now. I wonder what Mag Light sells for lights now. <coughs> I have some of their older stuff. My necklace has got a flashlight. We can't get the, the end off of it. I think it's kind of like uh, fused itself, like uh, cold welding or whatever you call it. Tried taking the end off it, but even in the vice. What happens is the battery's leaking, then all of a sudden it starts to uh, corrode the aluminum. And then it seems like it flows together. It seals it up so you can't get it apart. But Maglite used to have the flashlights back in the day, but not anymore. I bought a flashlight at Mark's Work Warehouse for 50, 60 bucks. And it works great. He never had one of those, uh, he also had one of the, uh, spotlights you plug into your cigarette lighter. So when we went camping, we could light up the campground and stuff like that with it, so it'd make it a little easier to get set up in the dark. And, uh... That thing, my little flashlight that I bought for 60 bucks out shines that thing 10 to 1. <laughs> so you get the... You get a to a point in life where you uh, wonder if you really need to buy it or not. I'm still like a crow. If it's shiny, shiny gotta have it. But not as bad as it used to be. I must have 20, 30, 40 lights, or not lights, knives, when I have to use any of them.
Well, oh, that's nice. when it's too thick on the outside. They break off and they shatter like little pieces of glass. They get underneath my plate. And when you bite down on them, those little pieces of glass underneath your plate, it's like glass cutting your mouth. Oh, well... That 80 is for city folk when they're driving out here. Because they're not too uh, aware of what's going on. With the roads and the traffic and the whatnots. And the, where the deer come out across the road and, you know, basic stuff like that. Deer down here in the, in the lowlands, but they can run a lot faster than a bear on the snow. He was saying that there was three, four other sightings as well. five o'clock. He works from eight to four. Not bad. Six months out of the year. That's what a lot of young fellas get out here. Seasonal, seasonal work. Wherever I work, now you're stuck. Well, look at this, I'm going to drive it in the field here. Yeah, how's that cloud out to? It's time to be in the woods cutting before the sap starts running. It's a 
trees would be a lot drier, make better firewood. up there too. Yeah, we're getting close to home. Probably won't make it home on the battery. You never know. Stay awake a little longer. Not really enough snow over, I don't think, for a trail ride. One day I heard a uh, few guys that were out there, and they said the trails are in really good shape. They go out there and they plow them or dress them up somehow. Young lady and her fat little dog. There we are. There's two deer right there, right where the crossing is. The Frenchman there, I guess, is what they say, feeds the deer. There's a lot of deer down here in the wintertime. I'm not exactly where the deer from our place go, but they live, they, they stay around our place till about the middle of July, or excuse me, middle of January, and then they disappear and you don't see them. They come out to places like this, where there's little bits of open water, and, uh, I'm not a, a, like a, like a cedar thicket. Ah, uh, that stack. That little guys are, uh, do the internet. We got real good internet now after they finally fixed it. Watch a hockey game. We can all stream something different. Nope, oh, watch out for the big bump. Right time you actually remember it's around the corner here. You uh, instinctively slow down until. It's not there anymore. Right there. There we go. It's hard on the front end.
Il va It's quiet. I wonder what Rick's up to these days. Oh, car's behind me. Say whether he's following me. How far are you following me? Jeez. That hurt. I'll let him go by when you say it. Some guys are real dicks when they get out on these country roads. Especially if they're uh, gravel or dusty. They insist on going by. Oh, that guy's gone. Right? Flying, the wind window gets pitted. Oh, there's a shoulder. That's what I forgot to buy today. Something like Absorbing Junior or something. Rub on it. Make it smell good. Terran don't work. And I don't like having it around the house. That stuff is so toxic, you can kill a dog. <coughs> Excuse me, they're highly allergic. Minus five. Up here, on our bush road, in the beginning of June, I've seen snow in the sides off the side of the road. and he comes in here and he cuts every living thing down on his property and sprays it. And the dump 
Where's that start this plantation off? And it's devoid of all animals. Nothing left to eat there. This was settled. You used to have big lumber camps over here. I've heard tell that this whole province has been in Maine. Have been clear cut something like seven total times. Never get close now. They don't have very good internet here. Everybody's all excited. Excited to think that the bell's coming out here with a fiber optic line on top of the uh, telephone poles here on the right, or power poles, or whatever you want to call them. And I don't think so. They like to rip us off. Big hill to go. And here we go. I'm not sure when it triggers the uh, frost to come out of the ground.
whether it's this month, next month, you know. There's Larry. Then there's Nick. So I might want to put it in reverse. Good. Get rid of the dog. Yeah. There's another one of the goddamn bottles out there. And we'll talk to you folks soon. Bye for now.